Motor Guzzi back in 1969 won a contract to supply the Los Angeles Police Department with these motorcycles. They were the first non-American bike to be used in the US police force. Back then the police were using Harleys and they were very well known to be unreliable and they'd rattle their teeth out. So when the police commissioned these bikes, um, they loved them. They were such a smooth bike and a very, very reliable bike. Hi, my name's Gary Bettini and this is my 1974 Moto Guzzi Eldorado Police Edition. I knew a little bit about Moto Guzzi uh, back in the 70s and 80s, but you never saw many around in Perth. But it was 1982 when I was on a, a trip to Italy visiting family. My dad's from Italy uh, in a, this sort of place called Tirano. And I was heading up there and I remember the train pulling into this little tiny town on Lake Como. And as it pulled up, I looked over to my right and I saw the Moto Guzzi factory. And it was this just old factory nestled behind this mountain. And it was only about 60 metres away. It was right on the railway line. And it, it just made it a bit more real just seeing that factory and, and, and knowing what who Moto Guzzi were. I've owned a few Moto Guzzi's over the years. And my holy grail was the V7 Sport. That's always, that was always the bike I thought I'd own. But one day I was just on the net, just surfing, and I come across the Eldorado police bike. And I never knew they existed, because they all just went to America. Uh, there was none in Australia, you just never saw them. So I researched a little bit more, and the more I researched it, and the history of it, the more I just fell in love with the bike. I found a place called Moto Guzzi Classics in Southern California. So I gave them a call and, and spoke to the owner, Mark, and we chatted about what I was looking for, and he, his company was well known for restoring these bikes. So then one day he rang me out of the blue and said a lady had come in and she had a, her husband had just passed away and she had an Eldorado sitting in the garage. So Mark went around and had a look at it and her husband is, he was gonna, had plans to restore it. But it was exactly the bike I was looking for, the four leading shoes, the, uh, an original police bike. So Mark grabbed it for me and from there we, uh, we discussed on what type of restoration I needed. So Mark, uh, Mark was looking over the bike and it, it was going to need a, a semi-restoration to get it up and running because the bike had been sitting for a long time. During that eight to six months that I was uh, researching the bikes and, and when I found it, uh, I didn't realise but the Aussie, Aussie dollar had gone, spiked above the American dollar, uh, up to about a dollar ten it was at the time, which really um, surprised me because that was going to be a 25% saving. So with the conversion and everything, I realised that I could do a, a full restoration on the bike. I remember going on its, once I got it licensed, going on its first ride. So I thought, these bikes are made for the open road. So I took it up into the hills and I got onto an open road and thought, well, we'll give it a bit of stick here and, and take it through the gears. And as I was taking it through the gears and, and letting out the clutch, the bike was just launching and I, I just couldn't believe the torque of this bike. It was just incredible and the ride was so smooth, it was so responsive, and for a bike that was 45 years old, it just exceeded my expectations. I didn't know, I had never ridden a Guzzi this old, so I didn't know what to expect, but it was just such a beautiful bike to ride. I think only other Guzzi, Guzzi owners could understand what it's like to ride a Guzzi. If you haven't ridden one, it's just hard to explain, but there's nothing better when you, when you hop, on, hop on a Guzzi and you hit that starter button and that V-twin just thumps into, into harmony. It, it, it's something that it's hard to explain. And, and once you get out on that open road and that, that thumping noise, it, it is just a, an unreal feeling. Uh, Moto Guzzi turns 100 years old this year and they're still in the same factory and the same location that they were for the last 100 years. And the thing I love about the Moto Guzzi brand is they've been true, true to the brand, where nowadays a lot of Manufacturers will get their motors built in one country and the bike assembled in another. But Moto Guzzi's are 100% made in Italy. They're built in the factory and assembled in the factory. And that's what I like about the brand.